Can you tell us please, Anna, what you would pack if you had to make a long journey? I would pack my favourite book, my favourite teddy, my medal that I won, my favourite music CD, um, a picture of my family and some money. And what, what would you, well, what did you think you'd have to leave behind? Um, my bed and my wardrobe. <laughs> but maybe you'd find that in another country. Yeah. Um, and what's the medal? Why, would you, why did you take the medal? Um, because my dad gave it to me. It's a special medal? Yeah. What is it? Um, it's a medal that has the word winner on it and he got it from his dad when he was a little boy. So it's very precious to him. These are things yeah. that if you lost it, you'd never be able to get anything else like that. Again. Yeah. Hello, my name is Devon. So this is a blanket um, my mum got me when I was one and I've had it for a long, long time now. And you'd take that to I'd also take a dictionary. I would take a family photo just to remember my family. And I would take clothes as well, just so I had things to wear. <laughs> We've been here working with your class, talking about people from overseas who've come to Cornwall to find work and also people who make very long journeys. And you've thought about what you might take on your journey. Is there anything all this made you think about? Or were you surprised to hear about uh, Mirabella's son, Petru? Yeah. It must have been hard to make such a long journey all the way from Romania. Yeah, and how do you think he might have been feeling? He might have felt worried. I think he probably did. Well, I would bring my unicorn teddy that I got for my birthday from my nanny and she's um, died. Um, and I would also bring my diary. Um, what would you write in your diary, do you think? Well... I would write some like things that I would like really want to do in in the country and yeah. And what else? You, you've done so many lovely drawings. What, um, what else? I would bring my sketchbook that my sister got me for my birthday. And why do you think you pack that? Um, because because it. Because I've done so many like really important pictures in there. So you'd take some things to remind you of home. What would they be? Um. Um. I bring. Um. Some photos of my family. Oh, good idea. And would you take anything that would? You, that might help you when you're in a new country or in a different place? Um, well, I don't really know. No, not that you haven't packed it? No. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to tell us about in your suitcase that you, we haven't talked about? Um, and I also got this unicorn key ring. And um, I won that in a prize because um, I, I go to Brownies and I won that. There. And why would you take it with you? Because I guess it would remind me of Brownies, how much fun I had there. Oh, that would cheer you up in a different place. And did you enjoy learning Romanian? Yeah. And do you think you'd be able to talk to it? a new person, a boy or a girl from Romania who came to the school? Yeah. yeah. Hi, my name is Stefano and I'm in year six. And Stefano, I think you told me before that you've made long journeys in your life, so when you made your suitcase you were able to think quite carefully about what you took. Yeah. Can you tell us where you've travelled? Um, I was born in South Africa and I moved to Italy. And then I came to Surrey, then I moved to Cornwall.
Oh, so you've made lots of journeys. And what would you, what did you think you'd take with you, the most important things? As you have made so many journeys, you probably know. Um, I do remember that I used to have this teddy. Uh, it was quite small and blue. But yeah, I would take that everywhere I mm. went. To remind you of, well, it's one thing that didn't change. I suppose you were in lots of different places where that teddy never changed. Um, do you remember it, it being easy or difficult, or did you enjoy it? Or? No, it was very difficult. Oh. Because w my, when we moved to Italy, my brother, no, uh, when we moved to Surrey, my brother was born. And then we had to, um, we, um, and then we had to move. And it was a non-stop of my brother crying. So it was quite annoying at the same time, but he didn't know what was going on, so it was very stressful. Mm. But you've been here for a while now? Yeah. How long have you lived in Helston? Three years. Three years. Oh, well, that's a long time. Do you speak any I Italian? Yeah. Ah. Can you say something for us in Italian? Uh, hello is ciao. How are you is come stai. And bye is also ciao, but you can also say arrivederci. So if, if they're an Italian uh, boy or girl came to Park Egros, you'd be able to help, wouldn't you? with this, with your language. Thank you, Stefano. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Hello, my name's Louis, and I'm a 10 years old, yeah, and um, yeah, in year six. Uh, and Louis, I see in your suitcase you've got something really, really important, and it looks like a... Pasta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you bringing? Why would you pack a pasta? Well, it's because uh, well, in the different uh, countries, uh, they don't taste uh, so as um, so as good as uh, the ones in Cornwall. So I've always uh, like because uh, it will uh, remind me uh, so, uh, where I come from. Yeah, and I do really uh, love them as well. So, huh. so it'll be nice to have it. So I put to a, a scone as well. Uh, well. Or for the same reasons. I've put um, so a picture sort of uh, what I have in my room. So my great, um, my great, so grandma, uh, who is still alive today, yeah, and she was holding me so I, in my christening, uh, and that's that. And then I've got my phone t to contact my friends. Uh, I've also got a flag of England, yeah, and also. So a, a teddy, which uh, my brother bought me um, when I was born, because I wasn't really aware when I was born. Well, what a lovely collection of things. Thank you. You've thought about that a lot, I can see. Thanks, Louis. Yeah, they were nice, yeah. I like learning about how uh, different, uh, and it's not just one person, or for example, like me, that has to make that long journey. That was how interesting that you thought that. Yeah, and Louis, did you enjoy it too? Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, and what, that's what I think about it. Uh, so, so it actually made it, me understand as a how Stefano felt when he came over here. Because I didn't really understand as a how, uh, as how like, say, a big of a deal it was um, before Mirabella came along. Well, hey, thank you very, very much. That's fantastic. It makes it, us feel it's worthwhile too, so thank you both. Thank you. Thanks for it. Draw my teddy bunny and some photos and my um, very special book and um, my watermelon squishy what my great great grandma bought me. Uh, uh, not a real watermelon? No. Is it a toy? It's like a squishy, yeah. But it reminds you of something special? Yeah. And you wouldn't want to be without that? Yeah. And your book? My book. Um, it has like photos from my memories in it, and I like to keep it in my room, and I never want to leave it behind wherever I go. Because you wouldn't want to lose those memories, would you? No. And did you enjoy learning Romanian? Yeah. Did you? Did? Do you think you'll be able to greet if if there's a Romanian boy or girl in this school? Do you think you might be able to speak to them now? Um, I think so. A little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Megan.
Uh, my name's Bodie. Of um, like control game thing that you um. Oh, like a remote, a kind of okay. And then, so you 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 were very practical. You thought about things that would help you. Food, I can see. A torch, that's very good, and a duvet. And then what, some of the things you had to leave behind must have made you a bit sad, because I can see some things mm -hmm. that could have made you a bit sad. Can you tell us what you have let, would have had to left behind, leave behind? My pets. Yeah. Well, maybe there'd be a way of taking them with you, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, it, and your toys. And I see you've also written some words about how you think you'd be feeling. Can you, can you tell us? Well, it's, I'm pleased, Bodhi, you put some, some good words at the bottom because a, a journeys are, are, about, are exciting as well as difficult, aren't they? Because you, as you say, you could feel positive because you're going to do something new and amazed perhaps at all the new things you'd find. So there are two sides to the coin, but that's really good. Beautiful colouring in and drawing. Thank you. In my suitcase, I will bring a picture of my mum and dad because I will miss them and they are special to me and I will bring my necklace that my mum gave to me and I will bring a cheese and onion crisp because they my, are my favourite type. Hello, my name is Maxim. I'm in year two. Maxim, I remember that when we asked if anyone else speak to, spoke any foreign languages, you could speak one. Can you tell us what that is? Russian. Russian. And can you say something for us in Russian? Yes. Hello. Привет. Привет. And can you say, my name is Maxim? My name is Maxim. And Maxim, so you weren't born in this country, you, you, t you told me. You were born in? I, I was born in this country, oh. but my mum was born in that country. Oh, I see. So do you, you obviously speak a bit of Russian, and I suppose you speak Russian to your mother? Yeah. Yes. And I see that you have really strong links with uh, Latvia because you brought some amazing, you packed some amazing food with you, and I'm guessing, why would that be? Because I like them. And you might not be able to get them everywhere? No. Can you get them easily in Cornwall? No. No? Oh. Um, so, so, can you just tell us what your drawings are down there at the bottom? I've made some ham, some sausages, and some a drink. A special drink you can only get in Latvia. Can you read us what you wrote, please, at the bottom? If I was going on a long journey, I would take my favourite Latvian drink called Quas. Because when I drink it, it makes me happy, and I would take my favourite time because it gives me energy. And I take my favourite Russian sausages, they give me energy too. And did you enjoy doing your suitcase, Maxim? Yes. Thank you. And did you talk to your mum about it, maybe? Yes. And she maybe helped you think about what was important, because she would have made that very long journey from her country yes. to here. Well, thank you very, very much. It's a fantastic job. Spasiba. Thank you. Teddy for one of my favourite books. A picture of my extended family, a picture of my two cats, seeds from my country, a necklace, a flag from my country, a watch, 
Pico Arts sleeping bag and gingerbread. I was interested you said seeds. What, what, which seeds did you think? Um, like flowers. Oh, to remind you of home. Yeah. A good idea. And I see on your, on your suitcase you've also written how you might feel. So can you tell us how you think you might feel? I'd feel worried, petrified, distressed, anxious, scared, sad, angry, um, upset, emotional and frightened. Very good, Alana. And what do you think you'd have to leave behind? Um, a bookshelf, a bed, a table and a bath. Things you couldn't fit in your suitcase, <laughs> but hopefully you'd find them in your new country.